Hello and welcome to your very own Tech and More. As part of the ongoing series that is Salesforce testing, come admin interview questions and answers. Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to continue the the thing that we have been doing till now. That is, we have divided the question and answers into different categories. For example, objects, fields, relationships, and so on. Uh, in this category, we are going to talk about all the Salesforce oriented questions that relate to security and access. It's going to be a short list of questions because I did not intend to elongate it a lot, right? So let's start. And if you have any feedbacks, any questions, please feel free to comment. So we have the question starting from cool, this one, question number 16, right? That is, what is the difference between profiles and roles? So uh, roles are basically the ones that are hierarchy based. I, rather, I would help you to explain it in the reverse manner. So if you have, I mean, starting with an example. So if you have, uh, you know, you have CEOs, you have CFOs, presidents, vice presidents, managers, senior consultants, all those. So they all are basically in the same hierarchy, in some hierarchy. So that makes uh, it an hierarchical relationship and that is what come to, comes under rule. Profiles is more of wherein you have the sales support departments. That is, somebody can be assigned to a sales team, somebody can be assigned to a service team. Uh, that is what makes a profile, right? How do you go and access profiles and roles? You go to setup and uh, here in, in the quick find, under quick find rather, you have an administration section. Under that, you have the user section. You click on roles. So when you click on roles, you will be navigated to... <clears throat> the page which talks about the different roles which are there on the organization. And when you go to profiles, you will have different options of the profiles. That is, uh, you know, you can be a sales uh, a representative, you can be uh, a system admin, silver partner, all these things, right? So all in all, that is what sales and profiles are. And that is how you access them in Salesforce. Cool. Now let's go on to the next question. In this question, we talk about what is the difference between profiles and permission sets. So in the last question, we, uh, we spoke about the difference between profile and roles. Here, we are going to talk about profiles and permission sets. So basically, the one-liner answer that you can give that will help you out will be permission sets are an extension of a profile, right? Let's go and have a look at the definition and the examples as well. So profile is something that we already know, but with respect to permission sets, let's have a look at it one. So uh, profiles are a superset and permission set is a subset. That is, it is a part of the profiles or a smaller part of the profiles. Uh, Profiles, uh, one user can be assigned only one profile, whereas in the case of permission sets, one user can be assigned multiple permission sets. Uh, guys, this is the definition, but I'll give you an example. So let's suppose in an organization, there is, uh, there's a, there's an HR manager and uh, somehow that HR manager has access to some, you know, employee salaries and some important stuff. Now, due to some reasons that assigned HR manager has gone on some sabbatical for six months and temporarily uh, the person from you know maybe marketing department who is your manager wants to access your records so of course his profile cannot be changed because his functions pertain more to marketing so a permission set can be created with the help of which that permission set can be temporarily assigned to that particular manager of your manager of yours who can have the access to your details that hr had right so basically when you want to add some permissions independently to the profile which will not be given to each and everybody that is when permission sets are very important and very helpful right how you would you, how do you go and access permission sets again you go to the you click on the gear icon you go to the setup here and you have the permission sets option and uh, you know you have these different options how they are assigned you go to the users and let's suppose if i click Harry Potter, one of my favorite users. If I click here and if I click on permission set assignments, I can go and click on edit assignments and then, you know, uh, accordingly add or remove these permission sets. So that's, that's that. Now let's talk about the next question, which says, what is the significance of audit trail in Salesforce? So uh, it's an awesome feature which tracks all the activities in the org in and out. This is the keyword in and out. And it contains all the details like date, user, action section. Uh, this is a screenshot, but again, uh, explaining things practically. Let's again go to the setup. I'll search here for audit trail. And you know, once you have a look at this audit trail, you'll yourself understand what it basically does. Do you see there's a date, there's a user, there's an action, there's a section, all these fields and data is there. So this basically tells you about each and everything that happened in the org lately, right? Including all the details. And you can, and the good thing is that you can download these particular details in the Excel format or sorry, in the .csv format as well. So audit trail is a very good way of keeping a track of your organization that nothing illicit is going on, right? So that's that. Then the, the last question for this segment or this category would be, what are the three critical structures in which data is stored in Salesforce? This is very important, guys, because, uh, and all in all, as another way this question can be framed is, what is the security model of Salesforce? So you would start with the organization level security point of first, that is, organizational security involves determining who can access your Salesforce org and when and where they would connect directly. Users could use IP limitations to restrict the IPs that customer could use to log in. Simplifying it, organization level security is something wherein it is the most discrete or most uh, maximum level of security, which is there in, in an org, right? And from there on, you keep on in decreasing the security or rather the better word is increasing the scope of the objects depending upon object. 
uh, field and record, right? Now let's go and see how do you access that. Talking about organization level security, it is similar to the word which is sharing settings. So again, you go to the setup and here and you search for sharing settings. You click here and uh, you see these different options for every object. There's a default internal access, there's a default external access and so on, right? So that is the concept of uh, organization or OWDs. And then if you want to change the uh, you know permissions on objects or fields and uh, similarly, so the better way is that you go to profile, right? And uh, maybe you click on, uh, I don't know, let's go for standard user. And here in, takes, taking a lot, little time, if you scroll down, you will see the objects here, right? And then you will see the different fields here, field level settings. So if you see the values, which says read, create, edit, delete, view all and modify all. So this, basic, this basically talks about that, how you can give the permissions to every object for the change. That is this particular profile user will be able to read a record or create a record or edit a record and so on. Right. So that is how the concept of, uh, uh, Security settings is very important. Uh, I know these are a little less questions, but I feel that if, uh, you know, these are the basic ones. So if you're not, if, if you do not know how these questions are handled, first you focus on them. And then going forward, you know, after this playlist is done, I'm planning to come up with more advanced questions. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, I think that's that's all. These are the questions for this video. And just one more thing, guys. So we are having continuously uh, Salesforce admin slash BA slash QA slash test automation slash development live trainings going on, wherein we provide the live trainings, the recordings, uh, the assignments, real time projects, and uh, doubt session. And then we have the certifications and everything, right? Uh, that is all, which is you know we we are doing. Uh, we have very, I mean, my me and there's one more chap who is an expert in development. So we are doing this together. And if you're interested, I will share the link to that form. Just fill up that form. And and uh, we'll, we'll reach out to you. So if you're interested, I mean, if you want, you can, you know, let us know and then we can take you forward to the next steps. So yeah, I think that's all. I will not take a lot of time. I'll keep this short this time. So thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next video where, where we are going to talk about one more category. So, right? so yeah, thank you so much and see you soon.